So during the gameplay, we're going to see either a left versus right scenario, which is basically one, one team is mostly on the left, the other team is mostly on the right. That's one of them. The second one is going to be one team is in the middle, and the other team is separated, and they're on the outsides. Okay. Right? On the outside looking in, basically. Yes. Yeah. And then that same position can be re-described as, as, as you guys pushing inwards as well, right? And like, what would you consider, you know, like when the, when the two, v, the two 1v1s are happening, is that a, just a version of those two or is that a separate scenario as well? Uh, it could just be a version of like, uh, let, let's just say blue team is in the middle. If blue team is in the yeah. middle and they're pushing outwards. And it's, then it's it becomes hard. 2v1, yeah, two yeah. 1v1s. And yeah. it's really hard for the other team to respond because they're so far apart from each other. Now, if it was the other way around, let's say, let's say it was like red, blue, red, blue. Yeah. Right. At any point, the other, the fight could just change, right? They could just switch targets. Yeah. But we're gonna see two foxes. They're gonna play pretty traditionally, which is uh, they can they can switch roles. One can be active, one can be passive. Uh, they're both gonna be pretty ground based and combo heavy. They got good kill moves. And I mentioned normalcy because on the other side we got Two Saint, who is a Jigglypuff player. Yeah, I don't know who Manko plays, but Falco. He's gonna Falco play Falco. Player. I see. Jigglypuff is a non-standard character because of how she interacts, right? She's going to be jumping a lot. It's hard to combo her. And her stocks are super valuable. And here we go. So left and ice playing double fox. Immediately goes into the two the two 1v1s. Right now, we noticed that Tusane was jumping a lot, and he's having a hard time positioning on the ground. Next hit is probably going to be a kill against him. How do, you, how do you feel about Falco and teams? Because I know a lot of people hate on him, but... Falco is definitely a controversial teams character. Oh, let's see Tusane pull off his edge guard. Okay, here and we go. It looked like they got, got confused him. as to which one was which. Yeah. The low fox recovered straight right. Ooh. Falco barely living. And is it just me, or does red team have a lead? No, it is. That is that is the case right now. I mean, uh, two saints oh, is looking dang. a little dangerous right now. Oh, here we go. Two saints gonna start this oh. edge guard. He's got him. Okay, looking really Let's great. Let's go. One v one on the other side, not panning out very well. There it goes. Falco's still alive. It, the stock advantage is working out for red team. Yeah. Two saints is 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 really uh. Re he's definitely carrying his weight. Yeah, he's 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 sharking these off stage encounters. Oh, and he gets another stock too off a of forward smash. Yeah, I gotta commend Falco. There have been a lot of times where he's been one v oneing or even being two v one. Yeah. And he hasn't been dying too fast. It's very possible for right there, as I say it. A lot of damage to be sustained by Falco. He yeah. took 90 damage off the of spawn. We haven't we haven't seen I don't know nobody's or uh, two Saints hasn't gone for a single rest yet right yeah it's really hard in this opportunity especially because right now it seems like Falco doesn't have a good opportunity to be near Jigs to wake her up yeah two foxes could instantly kill her oh shark that up smash she just ran in oh my god that's a lot of damage coming out from double foxes oh and the missed rest is not what you want. Wow, the crowd had a good time with that. They just laughed at the double lasers. Yeah, I, it's really rare to see that. Yeah. Really cute. Woo. This up tilts are not being DI'd really well by Falco. Yeah. We take three of them. That was like, this turned around so fast. Oh my yeah. god. Really just great control. What we saw was a lot of pincering by the blue team, which is they, they pushed the two characters into the middle. And it just. And, it, and those two characters didn't operate very well on top of each other. Jigs has a really bad shield. So she can't stay in a position. She has yeah. to burn her jumps while Falco has to push out. Yeah. And even when you use that type of game plan, okay, Falco's going to push out. Jigs has to wait. If it backfires at any moment, it's really devastating. If Falco doesn't win pushing out, the two foxes pinch her and do lots of damage. Yeah. What I could like to see from Toussaint, because I do think the beginning of the game Toussaint was doing really, really well. I do, would like to see a few more interruptions against the Foxes when they're burning down Falco. When they're just, you know, like just breaking up the combos and... Maybe a drill or a pound like that. Yep. Oh my goodness. Oh. Great shine from Falco to save his yeah, that was great. teammate. All right, off stage again, two Saints. Oh, the great shine. Great shine. This pound's going to set on stage. Great. Whoa. Wow, he picked that out. Oh, my. He's oh, actually dead. You know what? I would have liked to see a laser from Falco, but instead he tried to use his body to save him. Yeah. 
And now he's being edge guarded himself. Whoa! Wait, what percent was he at? High percent? Because he went pretty fast. I don't remember. Dude, Hussein definitely just sniped that. It was supposed to be invincible. Yeah. All right, here we go. Hussein doing a really good job. Yeah. Falco's doing some fast two-piece combos, and I like that. A lot of Falcos get caught up in doing their long combos. I guess that's one of the things that people would have criticism on for Falco because he's a very, you know, control in a 1v1 situation. And then when in doubles, he doesn't have quite as much uh, authority, right? Definitely, definitely true. Right there, we see it looks like Ice got oh! that up air. That was an amazing shine to just get both of them off his back. Edge guard opportunity on the left side. Oh, oh it looks like Falco went high instead of guarding the edge. Two Saint missing that edge guard. They're both cornered, though. Fox making it out of the corners. This is a tough spot right, for Falco. Yes. Stage control for blue team right now. Blue Ooh. team. Yeah, definitely exploiting their speed, but a lot of counterattacks from red team are making a big difference. And they're only down one stock. Oh there. my goodness. Oh, Toussaint almost God. had that sick opportunity. That was so close. Big stock reversal. Alright. They're still at really high percent right now. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, just a two-piece combo from Toussaint. Very aggressive. Falco making out with that shine. He's going to take a lot of damage, though. I think one strong move and Fox is gone. Oh, no! And that's that a stock at 60%. That was so brilliant by Toussaint. Toussaint is playing so good right now. I know, off the ledge. He oh! oh! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go, Toussaint! A lot oh, of these okay. Foxes are just doing poor recovery or uh, refreshes. And yeah. Toussaint is taking advantage of that. That is a fast stock. Can Falco... Yes! Oh, Toussaint wow, takes it so fast. He just got in there. Now, this is just so tough because 2v1, Jinx is not the best at. Yeah. Just got to channel your inner H box here. Anytime an edge guard happens, I feel like the other Fox has a great potential for saving. Ooh. And that'll do it. Really right, well that, played. That was still an exciting game, though. Yeah. That was a good game. Levin and Ice had a struggle at the beginning of stage one. Say again. It's oh, you can loud. hear us? Okay. All right, well, Lev Levin just telling us that... It's very easy to hear. Very, very easy to hear. Maybe we should move the desk over a bit. Well, I'm not it, sure it, really it. how to handle this. Yeah. But they handled it quite well because their adaptation really just it just came through because game one, yeah. they're they're quite down. Yeah, they... Uh, I mean, it looked like they had they, they kept their composure. They weren't, like, shook or anything. They were still... Two Saints was nailing the offstage. He was he was protecting protecting his teammate the way he should have been. It's just, you know, sometimes players are better than you are, and they win. That's, like, just sometimes. Or it's two Foxes, and they're really fast, and you get yeah, overwhelmed, right? Yeah, I think right? Toussaint was doing really great. Falco was doing, I think, at par. And if he had done just a little better, maybe one of those games could have gone to them. It, it's, of course, so difficult when two Foxes are bullying you two. So just yeah. really great job by Left and Ice. Yeah, I'm going to switch back to singles here, I think. Man, that's tough. That's tough to switch back and forth. But those are the matches we're being given. Magic oh. one and two frames. It's two frames. Two frames. Nice. This guy actually uh, was uh, hitting me up earlier. He wants to come to my Ar Arcadian next month. He's a uh, okay. Ohio player. All right. Where, where are you from? I'm from Chicago. Chicago? Yes. Right. I've been to Chicago. Yeah. I saw the bean. Yeah, it's the big really, old bean. It's really a magnificent standstill object. Yeah. <laughs> you just look at it and you're just like, okay. oh, this is cool. <laughs> I'm <laughs> over it. Let's get some pictures. <laughs> and then, yeah. and then you move along, yeah. So two frames is going to be wearing our two colored shirt. Wow. Yeah, wow. That's